All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to be talking about some of the things that you can do to stay safe on Discord. So one of the things that'll happen infrequently, depending on who you are, is you might get harassed, you might get stalked, you might get pestered, and you might get trolled a little bit while you're wandering around exploring the different communities that have set up their own servers on Discord. And there's a few things you probably should know in order to avoid having anything stress you out when you're just trying to enjoy like a game or a hobby without being pestered. Now, the first thing that's probably worth noting is that at any time you can block or unblock somebody if they're trying to pester you. Like, let's say Kraken here is trying to be a pest. All you have to do is right click them and there's a block button right here. And if you block them, now all of their messages will show a message here that says one blocked message. And if you're not sure what's going on in the context of a conversation, if they're still trying to be a pest, you can say show message to see what they were saying. And if they're still being annoying, you can hide that message again. Likewise, you can unhide that message and unblock them at any time. And anybody that you have blocked will show up in this list of people that you have blocked for whatever reason, then you can remove them by clicking the unblock button on the side. Because accidents happen, I've accidentally blocked people before that I didn't mean to. Now, if you're running your own community and you're just now starting to encounter people trying to be butts or jerks or just generally be rude and break your rules of your server, you can always right click them and ban them from your server or kick them from your server in order to get them out of your life and not trying to harass you or your server members. Likewise, if you find yourself being spammed with friend requests from a random server you just joined, like let's say the Warframe community's got somebody who's spamming everybody, you can go down to your privacy settings and you can block direct messages from random people on that server, which now means that in order to send you a message, they have to add you as a friend, and then they just can't do that. The other thing you can do is you can mute the server. Any given server can be muted by simply finding that server and then going to mute, and you can mute it for 15 minutes. Like, let's say people are getting really crazy about an update for a game, or an update, like, you know, you're you're in this hobby, like, making miniatures, and a new miniatures set is coming out in a week. But you're busy for, like, the next eight hours. You don't want to be pestered. Your phone's blowing up. You can just say, mute it for eight hours, and then it won't send you any notifications about conversations. You can also just set it to until you turn it back on. And then under notification settings, you can make it so that only people that mention you directly will send you an at message so you don't get pinged a bunch, leaving like, you know, a number of like, you know, five or six or however many messages are waiting for you on your Discord icon or popping up as notifications on your phone. So those are how you can kind of control some of the notifications going on. The other thing to note so another thing that you can do if you find that you've joined a community and all it ended up being was a bunch of people harassing each other, there's no moderators, there's no admins, nobody's making sure people obey the rules and you're just done with it and sick of it, you can go to any one of these communities in your sidebar, right click it, and you can leave that server. And then it'll confirm that you want to leave it and then after you're gone, nobody on that server can message you anymore. You have to either share a server or be friends with somebody in order to send them uh, any type of message. And then if you block somebody, they can no longer send you messages. So it's relatively easy to keep people from pestering you. Although there are some creative individuals out there who have made it their business to stalk people on Discord. So that is where a few different settings come in handy. One of those is the privacy and safety tab of your user settings. Here you can find all sorts of useful information like Let's say, you know, you're actually a parent and you're setting up a Discord uh, account for your kid. You can set it up so that when somebody sends a direct message to you or to somebody else's account you're managing for them, like somebody younger, you can make it so that they scan all the messages that are sent from anybody to make sure nobody's trying to send them 
violent content like gore, blood, guts, porn, you know, questionable material like that. You can keep them from sending that, or you can just not scan it at all so that your friends' messages don't get accidentally blocked. You can also allow or disallow direct messages from people who you share a server with. If you disable this, it'll allow you to require people to be your friend first. If you find people are spamming friend requests at you, you can disable everyone being allowed to send you friend requests. You can make it so that only people who are on specific servers with you can send you uh, friend requests or friends of friends, depending on your settings. You can set it up so that people can join based upon the game you're currently playing. People in the channel with you can, can join games. All of these sorts of different settings are available inside of privacy and safety. Likewise, if you're a server admin, under your server settings, you also have a little list of things that you can do to require people, I believe it's under, is it under moderate? It's under moderation now, where they, you know, you have to be registered on Discord for longer than five minutes to communicate on the server that you're a part of, so that even though somebody gets a, a link from somebody to get onto your server, they can't just immediately pop in with a new account every other second, spamming it full of nasty images. And you can even make it so that they have to have a phone number verified with that Discord account to do anything. And then you can scan media from contents to make, or from different members to make sure they're not trying to post porn or gore on your server. Depending on who you are and if you have a community server, that might be handy to make sure that people aren't trying to harass people with images. There's a whole host of different safety and security settings that make it a little bit easier to interact safely on Discord and not feel quite so targeted by various people trying to troll and harass each other. Now, if all else fails and you still find yourself being stalked, harassed, any sort of thing like that, the last step that you can go through is you can go on to Discord and go onto their website and go to their support section and you can submit a ticket to report somebody for harassing you, for stalking you, for trying to do all of those nasty things and are generally breaking Discord's terms of service, then you can go through that process and report them inside of there. That will allow you kind of like the last bastion of help to try to get something sorted out. Unfortunately, because there's so many people using Discord in the millions of users, they get thousands upon thousands of report tickets help request tickets and all of that every single day. So sometimes it'll either take a long time to get back to you or it'll get lost in the mess of tickets that get sent to them for whatever reason. This isn't always foolproof, but it certainly can help. Uh, you might even be able to message them on social media, although from what I understand, they're now kind of preferring that you don't do that just because it gets lost in the mess. But that is definitely an option if you feel like you're being stalked and harassed on Discord by specific users, then this is one of your last ditch efforts in order to get that taken care of. And this is also a place where you can go if you have technical problems and also if you feel like you need to appeal one of your accounts being banned because you simply were in the wrong place at the wrong time on a public server. So all of those things are the various methods that you can use in order to try to keep yourself safe on Discord. Generally speaking, blocking people, leaving nasty servers, ignoring people, kicking them off of your server, and generally just trying to like keep people at bay with a 10 foot stick is the primary ways that Discord has of keeping yourself safe. Unfortunately, those methods don't always work, so that's typically when you try to, like, leave servers full of people who are being nasty and make your own, so at least you have some control over who can get into the server and see what's going on and try to talk to people. I hope you found this helpful. I hope this was full of some useful information that can help you with your issues. If you want to kind of dive into the comments section because you're having a specific problem and you're not sure what to do, I can try my best to give you a hand, and I'm sure other people who watch the video can give their advice as well. And until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Have a good one, everybody, and toodles.